Hey, I'm here at ISS with Bob Hansen. Uh, he is uh, with Grand Dot Bank, and you have just given uh, one of your breakout sessions, uh, reducing friction between IT and security. Wh what were people thinking? You go back to like high school mathematics, right? The order of operations. How do you implement the Avanti products? What's the things to do first? Where, the, where do you start? Where do you hopefully end? Mm -hmm. uh, I think that was good. A lot of good questions on some of the products like business service mapping and, and RBVMS. And you've just gone about implementing Avanti ITSM, right? We are at Grand Dot Bank. We are, that's we're starting right now. Right. Um, and how's that process going for you? Uh, we are not even really started. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No. We actually uh, um, neurons. I, you know, with my experience, use the product at other institutions. I started neurons myself. Um, just put some agents out, did some discovery scans. Uh, I, I want to build the foundation of what's going to go into ITSM off of neurons. It's going to give me assets, it's going to give me software, and then we'll build that into our offerings in ITSM. So during this kind of process, how do you reduce uh, what a lot of people see as friction uh, between IT and security teams as you go about implementation? I mean, that kind of comes with the territory a little bit. It's something that's got to be on your mind. Yeah, it's always um, uh, a challenge. You know, ops and security always have a little uh, rough go of it. Um, we're a small shop, so I do both. So if I just have a discussion with myself and I come to a decision. But uh, previous places where, where the banks that I've worked at where we've done this, uh, it's really just sitting down and creating a partnership with the, with the infrastructure folks and letting them understand and get everybody focused on this is not, you know, there's no pride in authorship here. This is something that the bank as a whole has to do. Uh, and we were very successful. Uh, and it, 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 security is everybody's job. And I know everybody says that, but it really is. I want to ask you about one of your successes, uh, that self-service offerings, right? And, yes. And so let's talk a little bit about that, how, how you speak. How, how has that benefited, I guess, your ITSM presence overall? Um, very well. You know, Avanti had a, a, um, a few years ago the whole shift left meth, uh, method they talked about, and it took me a little bit uh, of time to understand really what that was. Uh, but then when I finally got it, it was like, okay, now let's go out to our business units and see what we can do with them. And, um, you know, if we offer things to them that help them, that help them do their business, not just IT business, um, they're going to be advocates for us. So what we found uh, as we got the first couple uh, business unit representation, um, they, they started going out to the rest of the business and say, hey, get with the IT guys because they can do this stuff and make your life a whole lot easier. And, and it worked out. We, we got everything from loan operations and HR and facilities all in there doing stuff. Um, and then, then it was, you know, that, that backlog started because everybody wanted to do something. I know that, especially in banking, regulatory requirements are always top page, right? Something yes. you're always thinking. I imagine that's a concern for all manner of companies as well. But for you in particular, uh, what's your experience like that uh, as you make these implementations? Yeah, the regulatory is, is, um, is it's difficult um, and a lot of it is interpreted. Um, they don't tell you specifically that you have to do X, so it leaves it up to that auditor coming in to kind of really define what X is. So I think you know there were a, a two really big areas for us. One was the patch management, right? Making sure our devices are patched uh, and meeting their guidelines. And, and sometimes the guidelines, depending on the regulator you get, well, you need to be 100% patched, and that's wonderful. That's 100% a great idea. It's a moment in time measurement um, because as soon as you do, something comes out that needs to be patched again. Mm -hmm. um, but when they could, when you could give them evidence of your time to patch and how quickly you remediate them and, and things like that, which is all available, um, they tend to be a little bit more understanding and work with you. And then I think the other um, thing that they, they've started asking for the last few years is data flows. They want to see, the auditors, the regulators want to see your data flows. They want, they want to make sure you understand where your data is moving throughout your organization and out. Um, and that's where service mappings came in for us. We, we uh, um, spun that up, uh, I, you know, I went into it with the, the presence of, hey, we're going to you know, just enhance our CMDB, right. understand our assets better, we're going to get some wonderful drawings that tell us how everything's um, tied together, communicating, uh, and, and we got through all of that, and then we got into the 
business continuity side and did not understand and didn't, didn't even have on my list of things that I expected how much it would help business continuity. Now you've got a pictorial of your lending system or your deposit system or whatever it is, so when you prioritize which services need to be restored first, you know how everything interconnects. You can look at a SQL server mm -hmm. and see that SQL server's talking to these four subsystems, right. and it really changed our business continuity plan significantly. It, you know, and, 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 and and you've been in this business long enough to know that when you're going through that kind of process, reactive is not a great thing. You need to be proactive yes. about it. And I think that's what Avanti kind of brings to the table is giving you that five minute head start, I guess, for lack of a better term, in, yes. in implementing a lot of these things. Yes, very much so. Um, it, it, the, that product in itself, just the interactions with ITSM where you can click back and forth between the two, you can see if there's a change that's recently happened on that system. If in the case of an outage, you can look at um, if there's a ticket open. I mean, significantly reduce the amount of time it took us to figure out what was really going on when there was an issue. Right, well, have a great ISS. I know you've been a busy man here <laughs> Thank today. Thank you. And uh, hopefully uh, you enjoy the rest of the conference. Uh, I intend to, thank you very much. All right, thank you, Bob. All right, bye.